Good afternoon, everybody. Today I have a special treat for you. Not many of you, not many of you may know this, but back in the day, I used to be in a band and we were just freaking awesome. But anyways, my band still lives on just by a different name. Um, and meet the man, my former bandmate, one of the best friends I've ever had in my whole life. This is Brian Belansky. The Brian Belansky, who's been touring the world for how long now? Oh, well, uh, you know, it started the international stuff back in 2011, but we have touring since the 90s. Yeah, so we used to tour back in the late 90s in a band called Anguish. I was the bassist, he was the singer, uh, songwriter, guitarist, and we, you know, had a couple drummers back then as well. But today, Brian's going to play you a few of his songs from his newest album and this is going to be Brian Super Happy Fun Time Part 3. So anyways, check this out. You're going to absolutely love this. We're going to leave you a, uh, a link to his website and his YouTube channel in the description. The first song I'm going to perform is um... Baby, I'm your Super Mario from the brand new album, Brian's Super Happy Fun Time 3. Excellent. All right, thank you very much. Uh, so that was I'm Your Super Mario from Brian's Super Happy Fun Time 3. And uh, I guess I'll do the other single that's going to be from the new album, R Rock the Library USA. All right. Well, honey, I know what you need. I like to write, you like to read. I really like the way you look. Are you gonna check out my library book? Cause I'm your host with the most Rockin' libraries, coast to coast On I-10, I'm 20, I'm 30, 40 50, I'm 60, I'm 70, 80 Love you, baby, don't be baby You're hotter than mashed potatoes and gravy And I'm your host, A-OK Rockin' libraries, USA, yeah You look so cute in your glasses Studying for college classes only a passing sweeter than Alabama molasses Rockin' libraries Coast to coast on I-10, I-20, I-30, 40 I'm 50, I'm 60, I'm 78 Love me, baby, don't be mean it You're hotter than mashed potatoes and gravy Now I'm yours, A-OK Rockin' libraries, USA, yeah Rock, rock, rock the library
libraries cool and down the windows. Talking libraries coast to coast on I-10, I-20, I-30, 40, I-50, I-60, I-70, 80. Love you fighting, don't be faded. You're hotter than mashed potatoes and gravy. Now I'm yours. Awesome. Very, 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 very good. Those are great songs. Thanks, Danny. Well, thanks for having me here at the VA VWA. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me at VWA. Yeah. Oh, it's been a pleasure, man. It's been a pleasure. So what shall we do now? Do you want to do another one or do you want to? Uh, you know, uh, we could. Uh, I, would you like me to do one or should we commence with the interview? I think that these people, I think everybody watching needs to hear your uh, baby one more time cover. Uh, oh, well, all right, here we go. Well, th thanks very much. Yes, yeah, so this, this just this was just too awesome. Well, that, that was a very uh, 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 thanks for that suggestion. Yeah, there are a few covers, a um, few well known covers. I've done covers in the past on some of my earlier albums, and uh, so this one I've got a uh, baby one more time. And I hated that song until you covered it. <laughs> you know, I, I hated it when it first came out, although I did kind of like to have a crush on Britney <laughs> back then in the 90s, you know, and it, maybe still a little bit celebrity. You hear crush. that, Britney? <laughs> But I have two cameras in my hand right now. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, no applause necessary. <laughs> that was fabulous. <laughs> thank you very much, Danny. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. All right. All right. So, yeah. Um, so, anyways, for those who don't know, Brian has been in a band touring the world since 1996. Uh, yeah, you know, 96 was uh, that, that was the first year the old band started. Yeah. Yeah, and so he worked his way through the uh, the local scene, the regional scene, and then the global scene, which is awesome. Now you're uh, touring the nation. You got a new manager. Uh, tell us what that's like. 
Well, you know, it, it's it's great. Uh, I mean, you know, things have definitely uh, bumped up a notch the past couple years here. Last year was a, you know, groundbreaking year. Broke a lot of personal records. Uh, you know, played uh, as of last year. Now I've performed in all 48 of the contiguous United States. Got the last three that it had eluded me previously: Maine, Utah and Rhode Island, so I added oh, nice. those all, all to the collection, and you know, yeah, just playing more shows than ever before, you know, playing seven nights a week, most weeks, and then sometimes uh, as many as four or five mornings in, in cool. those weeks, so staying really busy, and things are going really good. That's awesome, so life on the road is good, that is good, that's great, and um, Thank you. yeah, I mean, that's a, it's, a, it's a dream come true to be able to do that, that is just that is fantastic and you've you know plugged it out this this long and it's awesome how you've hammered out a, a, a very successful career in the music business well, well thanks thanks a lot i mean i definitely stay busy it's a lot of hard work but uh it's it's definitely rewarding i mean there's no no question about that i uh you know there's a lot of late nights and early mornings but it's all worth it very cool and so tell us about your background like what got you into music like what no, I mean, I already know the answer to this question. Me and Brian go way, way back. So <laughs> disclosure, um, I was his former bassist and we would hang out all the time in high school, my best friend in high school. And it's just so cool to see him still at it. It's, it's awesome, like an enduring force. And, uh, and, and it says a lot about your talent, dedication. But tell us about your background. Like what got you into music? Where did this passion come from? Well, uh, well, and once again, yeah, thank, thanks, Danny, for your services as the bass player in the old band. I mean, you know, we had some great times back then. Oh, but, that uh, was monumental. You, you yes. know, my, my love for music definitely came from my parents. And uh, like you mentioned, we were, you know, best friends in high school. I'm sure you remember seeing all those records uh, oh, laying yeah. around. Uh, my dad's my dad's record collection, I think, is the, the main reason, you know, I picked out this life. You know, all those great records that you know uh, other kids dads didn't have like you know sex pistols ramones like the early rem albums gang of four uh, just uh, tons of like really obscure bands from ohio which is you know where where we were all from originally like uh, ohio had a great punk and independent scene in the 70s and 80s and uh, it still does of course but uh, yeah yeah that that music and grow you know living you know growing up listening to that music uh just is is what gave me that love for music and then of course when nirvana came out that was the catalyst that's like yeah oh yeah anybody uh, you know gave you the feeling that like hey anybody could do this if, if that guy can like you know play the wrong <laughs> chords and forget the words and all the uh all of his songs that still have a number one album then you know maybe i can do this too that's great. That is awesome. And I remember the first guitar you got and your dad's record collection. Who for, who could forget that? Like, for yep. me, that that even, just me hanging out over there, I, I learned a lot about music from your dad and his collection. Yeah, yeah, they were the, it was the good old days. I still have that old red Stratocaster, too. Uh, it's, oh, uh, it that's definitely great. needs a restoration because uh, I don't know if you remember, I used to like like chucking it at the drummer at the end of the show. So it's got like a big <laughs> chunk missing out of it oh, no. from the old, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, no, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's due for restoration. That is funny. So uh, where are we uh, expecting to see you? in this upcoming leg of the tour. Right, right. Uh, And so, you know, the tour embarkation and album release show is this Sunday at Tommy's Pub right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, we're actually in Fort Mill, South Carolina right now. Fort Mill, yeah. (laughs) But uh, right in Charlotte, North Carolina, Tommy's Pub, uh, March 12th, 2023. It's Sunday. It's uh, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m age is 21 plus and it's a free show that is great so uh you know i'll be i'll be playing two hours solid i'm going to be playing you know all the songs from the new album the songs from the last two albums brian Superappy one and two the uh predecessors to the brand new one brian Superappy fun time three and i'll probably even play some uh some songs from the old uh band albums too the old anguish albums which i still pull out a few here and there that is awesome those were uh those are all great 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 bodies of work and uh, thank you thank you very much yeah so that should be exciting um so tell us about the new album 
Oh, well, uh, you know, it's called Brian's Super Happy Fun Time 3. It is the sequel to uh, Brian's Super Happy Fun Time 1 and 2. And I just tried to double down on this one and make it even more fun and more happier than the past two because uh, even though the past two did have some super happy fun elements, there were still some kind of like brooding punkish songs on there. So this new album's just exclusively acoustic. There's no electronic songs. There's no... Uh, electric guitar songs. Uh, it's all just acoustic. I try to make the album a little bit more like what a, a real live performance is like. Hence also the putting a few covers on there because I I do tend to you know perform songs that uh, uh, from the artists that inspired me um, you know so uh, some some well known covers on there for the first time ever and and then you know some of the originals like the couple that I just played the uh, Super Mario and Rock the Library are the two that people seem to like the most on the on the tour last year. I, I thought that I listened to the whole album. Um, I thought it was fantastic. I was really impressed with the production, the songwriting. You know, for the last since day one is on point. Thank you. Well, there's a lot of songs that I could just see played on the radio and just and just going over like crazy. Like this is a spectacular album. I'm well, really well, proud of. Well, thanks what a you've lot. Done there. And I definitely have to thank uh, you know my producer Rob Tavlione of a Catalyst Recording. He did the uh, the first five tracks on the album, which are the ones that are, you know, the, the single material that's going to be going, you know, for radio and everything. So uh, I hope you're right about that. Some, you know, get some definitely uh, college and community and variety radio has treated me pretty well in the past uh, with some of my previous releases. And hopefully this year will be no different with this new album. I could definitely see it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, an excellent, excellent, excellent album. Thank you very much, Danny. Yes, I truly appreciate it. And, and like, once again, thanks for uh, thanks for meeting me to have have me on your show here. It, it's it's a real pleasure. Likewise, man. It's great to have you. And uh, any uh, thing, any last comments? Ah, uh, well, I'd just like to say, you know, anyone here in the Charlotte area that's interested in coming out to Tommy's Pub, just be ready to uh, have a good time, hear some happy, fun songs, and, uh, you know, forget your troubles for a little bit, and uh, and then I'm going to be on tour for quite a while, so, uh, you know, check the website, uh, I'll probably be coming to your town before you know it. Just and to, what's the uh, the website? That is Brian Super Happy Fun Time. Dot com and that of course is Brian with a Y. Brian, Brian Super Happy Super Fun happy Time. Fun time. Dot com. Yeah, All correct. right, that is going to be awesome. So everybody, make sure to go to Brian Super Happy Fun Time. Dot com. Brian with a Y, B R Y A N. Check out his website. Check out his tour dates. He might be coming to your area, so definitely come and uh, show some support. You're in for a, a night of great music if you do, and. I want to thank you so much, Brian, and thank you, everybody, for watching. This is uh, awesome having you on the show. Thank you, Danny. It's been a pleasure. Uh, yeah, always a pleasure. I really appreciate the opportunity to appear on the show. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, everybody.